JD. Yes, sir. You've been studying your phone for, for bits and pieces from the studios of Access Hill Aerials when yes. they were at Seal Hain. Yes, old photographs mainly, and they are there. <laughs> I don't know how they got on there, but they are. So what, what do you make out their equipment to be or their direction to be? Because for new listeners, that Carl, Carl Monson, who used to be on Falling FM, yes. the new Exeter radio show, yes. he moved to Seal Hain and yes. he started out Access Aerials. Yes. And there was no FM signal, but they no. went for being online. Online, yes. Yep. And some of their kit, it just appeared to be a bit more digital than the kind of desks you were used to. Is that, is that fair well, back, back in the really early days, it was quite crude, shall we say, it's mm. to operate, but um, one got used to it, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. But it's, well, it's pe people became interested in what they were doing and made equipment available. Yeah, it was, it was just the, how small the radio station was and, and people with disabilities could get to it. And that was the main thing. But they could they could put a show together there. Yes, and, the it, and it went on the web. Oh yes, I spent lovely two hours in there by myself. Nobody there in the whole of Silhain almost talking to myself, <laughs> <laughs> and it did work. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. It did work. It did work. Yes, it did yes. work. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, nobody handed me coffee through the window, which is very oh, sad. That's very sad. <laughs> but that got better, did it? Did it got get better over the times so when they when they knew how um, wonderful I was. Yes, I, did, I said I'm very moderate. <laughs> <laughs> and they understood that coffee yeah. improved your. Oh yes, the coffee did. Yes, it was there waiting for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh so right. Well, that's, that's yes. That's that's good. Yes. But yeah, so I've, I've found photographs of, of me being in that studio and the smaller studio, which was uh, very high-tech, really, for me. It's too high-tech because I'm oh. used to the old turntables and the mixers. Yeah, well, so when you say it was a high-tech studio, yeah. what, what was it about it? That, that well, the mixer was high-tech, very high-tech, so small. So describe it small. It was, it was very small. It was about, um, I would say... Uh, well, if you put your hands to about... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, so he's stretching his... OK, his elbows, his elbows are now more or less <laughs> at right angles yeah, and we'd look, parallel. The, the, studio, uh, the studio in here has got a, a mixer, and it's about... Um, it's about... Uh, well, you have to stretch out your arms about halfway. <laughs> it's not as far as if you're stretching your arms out completely. But if you push them out halfway... <laughs> yeah, it's very big, but this is very big. a quarter of that, I would reckon. A quarter, yes, yes okay. so I would say. And it was... Um, so in a, you could put the studio into a small cupboard hole yes. and shut the door and lock it and do a program, no problem. Right. So that's the good thing about it. That and a computer, that's all you needed. And, of course, I had my own software, so that made it even better. Right. So um, I have got a photograph. Somebody put a photograph on, on Facebook for me, which is really nice of them, uh, of me sitting in a studio, a bit blurred, but it, was a, it does show... The the the, the uh, less amount of equipment I've got in front of me, right. I'm still doing a show. Right. So, in the reality now, you don't need a lot of equipment to make a show. So, uh, you had a quick look at the equipment Access All Aerials was using in their Radio Shack. The, yes. Uh, the, 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 the broadcast they did. Well, can I kind of call it a broadcast because it came, although it was on online. It was, it was radio. It was effectively yes. a radio format. Yes. And um, so that was t towards the far end of uh, Debenhams. Yes. And they may come back there. Yes. So what do you think they were using there? Well, that, it was good for an OB, as outside broadcasting to you, uh, yes. uh, equipment uh, to provide a, a, a programme. Because today, you see... <laughs> I'll tell you, my days of, of OB is very funny. <laughs> um, I once had to be, we were reporting on a fate which was happening in the town centre, and our studio was at the bottom of the hill, and the only way you could do it was to record something on cassette, and then Muggins here had to put his running shoes on and run down to the studio, to the bottom of the studio, and somebody came down and picked up the copy, and we went and played it live. That was the only, was the only way you could do it. 
So I've done it the long way. Yes. So but that, that's that, that's all right. We could we, we could do that here. Debenhams is not too far away, is it? <laughs> so we could do that. Well, we'll get Chris to wheel round. Yeah, we? yeah. Oh, it's a two-hour no show here. Yeah. We could we could we could do that. Yes. That's what I think he's I think he's here. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to play. I'm going to play.